I'm gonna tell you, I got it right now. I'm tell you right now. Right, if Ryan just don't come back or not, if Ryan just don't come back, which I think he should be back, got three weeks to get prepared. He off R. That's gonna help that offensive line. Offensive line did the great last night. Tom Brady is going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady is going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. He's lifetime undefeated against the Cowboys. Is that Price got out the quarterback? Their defenses look horrible lately. They're getting healthier at the right time. Park the whole defense will be right healthy for the playoffs. The offensive line will be healthy, even though Donovan Smith holding ass will be there. Trish Merck looking getting healthier. Ryan just will be back. The guard play looks good. They still can't run the ball for shit. But as long as you got old man, goat Tom Brady, and they get they give him time back there with Mike Evans to go downfield, and you got Chris Gavin moving the chains. Russell Gay is coming on. You sit out Julio Jones, rest him for the next two weeks. He come back, he could trip it. Cam breaks, he will be back because Aden was awful yesterday. Miss Te they missed play. It could have easily beat uh, Carolina if the the, the 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 kicker was good. And Alton wasn't, wasn't misreading coverages. Don't look now. And I got I, I got a I got a epiphany. Everybody say Tom Brady was playing bad all year long. Justin Herbert, you know Tom Brady's second second in the leading pass yard, forty six hundred passing yard, sixty seven completion rate, twenty four touchdowns, nine interceptions. Him. Um, him, golf, and Jalen Hurst, the only quarterback that started the whole season um, with not double digit interception this year. But he's been playing bad all year. Shannon Sharp and the Red Shannon Sharp. He's been playing late stuff. You're going to disrespect me because you, you love Tom Brady. He's 24 touchdowns, nine interceptions, 4,600 yards, second to Pat Mahomes, 5,000, which I think Joe Burrow will eclipse uh, Tom Brady tonight. He don't need 230 yards to get over Tom Brady. Can't play Monday night. But Tom Brady will still be number three. He over 4,500 yards passing. They go as far as Tom Brady arm go. They can't run the ball. They get stuff run. They say, stop running the ball, man. Just stop running the ball. They dead lad one of the worst run, run games in NFL history. Hopefully in the playoffs, they get they get Dallas who they had success to run the ball against. So that'll be and they get Ryan just back who can help open up some holes and get Brady more time in that pocket in the in, in, in the front of that pocket in the middle of that pocket. Not the outside because Tristan Rook will hold up. I think Devin Smith. If he don't hold, he'll hold up. He want to not let them push the pocket. So somebody can have all day. He had a whole lot of time all day. I think the difference yesterday and the whole season was somebody had plenty of time to go down downfield. And Mike Evans was burning the shit out that corner. And he not only did he have twenty yards, to Mike Evans, he had one hundred twenty yards to Chris Godwin in the middle of the field, moving the chain. He had yards, could have had more yards if they make plays. Like I said, don't look now. Bucks getting healthy. They got a home game. I got the Bucks winning the Super Bowl. You heard me. I got Buckman in the Super Bowl. And Justin Herbert is... Listen, Justin Herbert is 22, 24 years old. 24, 25. He got 23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and turn back on pass yards here. Who knows? Who knew? Who knows? These old, these young, maybe these young great guys that we trying to put above Tom Brady to, to push Tom Brady out of the way, they're not playing as good as Tom Brady. Cowboys, you got Dak Prescott. You got Dak Prescott. He's leading the leading turnovers. Interception. The Cowboy defense ain't been great. They ain't been great lately. They, they second starting corner is out. Mike Evans gonna have a field day. You get Julio Jones rushed up. You got Russell Gage. You you got Scotty Miller who can go deep. You got you got the Buccaneers are a talented team. Football starts with blocking and tackling. Blocking and tackling. The, the, the Buccaneers won. They play, and then he had a great, he had a great game plan yesterday because the the the, 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 uh, the Detroit Lions was a, was pretty playing pretty good. They ran all over the week four Carolina ran all over them. And they ran all over Tampa. The first time they beat Tampa. Bucks holding seventy five yards. Holding seventy five yards rushing. So that was a good indication. They you want to stop the run and you want to get. Kansas With Tampa, I don't think they're going to run as good, but you want to have Tom Brady has much time, no people at his feet, comfortable in the pocket, he's going to find he gonna find guys open. You do that, Tampa will make it to the Super Bowl. I'm telling you right now, go down to Vegas, I'm telling you, my sports channel, go down to Vegas and put some money on Tampa in the Super Bowl, because the odds are not very high, you're going to put money on Tampa right now, you're going to win. Not, I ain't say win the Super Bowl, I say going to the Super Bowl. When they get to the Super Bowl, we'll see how they match up, we'll see how healthy people get in the playoff. They start beating Dallas at home. You go to Philly with a banged up quarterback with a defense that love playing zone defense. Tom Brady will kill it. He'll pick apart his own defense. Ask the Pittsburgh Steelers. You play that style of defense, Tom Brady will pick that apart. And then you got a third string quarterback in 49ers who I think Tom Brady will revenge that like they did the, uh, two years ago against the uh, Saints. They got blew out twice in the Saints. Figure the Saints out. They'll figure out this 49ers team. They'll play better. They won't turn the ball as much. And I think 
I will bet on Tom Brady, no matter how good uh, the 49er defense is, because they got killed yesterday against uh, Jason Statham and Oakland Raiders. Trust me. Trust me. Bet on Tampa. Bet on Tampa. Like, subscribe.